I'm an alcoholic and an addict. I'm an alcoholic and an addict who's in recovery today. And I started um, drinking and using drugs when I was 12 years old. Uh, my first drink was at age 12 at uh, my brother's wedding. And so they offered me a glass of champagne. And I drank the champagne, and then I proceeded to have six or seven more glasses. You know, and it all kind of ends up, and it sort of culminates in this one experience that, that really let me know that I was not in control anymore. I was in six or seven treatment centers, and the second to last treatment center I was in, I woke up in the hospital, surrounded by my family, and I learned that I had injected a, a cocktail of uh, heroin and cocaine. Days before I went into this treatment center, I was living in an apartment, um, taping up the windows, you know, closing, you know, putting all kinds of locks and bar barriers in front of the door and, and laying down behind a couch in the dark and only periodically coming out to go get more drugs or to wander into some neighborhood where I should never be in the first place. I continued to use after my stay in the hospital because again, the, the obsession to feel differently, to feel high, to get out of myself, it, it, that just became strengthened by all the guilt and the remorse and the fear surrounding the fact that I'd almost died and that you know I'd been nearly responsible for killing myself. My relationship with my family was so strained when I got here, I mean, they were just fed up. Um, you could just feel it. It was it was palpable, and um, and I was so ashamed of what I had done, and, and so guilty that you know it was uncomfortable uncomfortable for me to be around them. At the point that I came into Gatehouse, I was physically addicted to alcohol and opiates. I entered through the ranch campus and. Finally, I could just sit and, and at the end of the day and realize I hadn't done anything to hurt anybody in that day and I hadn't used any drugs. And, and I was starting to, to like myself and maybe even love myself and, and accept myself for who I was. The reason why I, I'm, I've been able to get sober and stay sober is that, that I was here for an extended period of time um, that I had the opportunity to not only learn what I needed to do but to live it out, to, to start really walking my talk. Tell us a little bit about, tell the families that might be watching this video right now, a little bit about what your life looks like today, what your relationship with your family looks like today. And, and how that's different from what it used to be like. That relationship changed, and it's become something that it never was in the first place. I mean, maybe it sort of resembles the relationship um, that I had when I was a kid, when I was just, you know, they always told me I was just this happy kid and just bright and talented and outgoing and, and fun, and maybe it resembles that relationship a bit, but, but differently because now I'm a responsible man which is what I should be. I shouldn't be the kid in the relationship anymore. You know, we, we just, we enjoy each other's company these days. You know, in our culture, it's inevitable that a person's going to try a, a drink or a drug. And if they have the potential to be an alcoholic or an addict, it's going to start them on their disease process. There is hope. I mean, there is a way to turn your life around and to make it, to clean up the past and to go on and live a productive life. And you can even help some people and help them turn their life around. I mean, there's probably some guy out there right now who is waiting for your recovery.